So for those contractors that might be new to the industry or might be growing in the industry, I would actually start with a snow plow and say, what, what size of plow do I need and what functionality in that plow do I need for the tasks that I'm going to have? I know what streets, driveways, and parking lots that I'm going to have responsibility for, so how can I optimize the plow? That's going to determine the weight on the front of the vehicle. When you're a plow operator, the, the truck is just there to move the plow around. The plow is what's really doing all the work. So you optimize that first. You spec your plow. You next take a look at the truck. Let's spec the truck to support that. So we have varying different levels of GVWs, spring rates, uh, front and rear weight distribution on our heavy duty and chassis cab lineup to be able to support those plows. You don't want to break down in the middle of a snowstorm uh, when you've got work to do because you didn't have the right plow or you didn't have the right truck or just the wrong combination. So that's when you really need to say, okay, let's take a reasoned approach, let's spec it from start to finish, start at the front with the plow, and then work your way. Uh, I would also uh, recommend, if you're doing snow removal, to look at the future a little bit as well. So don't just plan for the, the contracts that you have today. If you aspire to have maybe larger contracts, think about that now. If you're going to uh, perhaps do salt dispensing as well, you should think about that because that's another factor. Now you're talking about payload, rear axle weight rating, and the ability to install a spreader, for example. Look at what you have today, spec for today, but think about tomorrow. So you don't buy a truck that's good for today. You get two or three new contracts next year. They're a little bit larger, and your, your truck's not suited again.